2020 domestic football season is about to come to a close. But fear not, football lovers, as the international game is about to crack up a notch with the return of the UEFA Nations League. Try, folks, back once again with another prediction video. Today, we're taking a look at the Nations League Group B Section Four. That's right, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe, bang up to date with all things Blackman Rovers, Nations League related. We got it all here, boys. Under a uh, one, Aruski. Uh, that's right. So, respect to all of you guys for stopping by, and respect to, of course, the Patreons for supporting the channel in the way that they do. Now, of course, we're going to be talking about the Nations League here. If that suits your fancy, if you like what you see here, and you want to support the channel in another way, you can join that illustrious VIP gang of Patreons. There is a link down below. Patreon.com forward slash Roverseas. But today, we're taking a look at the Nations League Group B Section 4, which includes these bad boys. Let's jump into it and have a look at the course, the countries that make up this group, starting with, of course, everybody's favourite for Euro 2020, 2021, whatever you want to call it, Finland. That's right. They are managed by Marku Canevera. Uh, of course, they're making their, uh, their major Euro 2020 or European Championship debut next year. Of course, it should have been this year, but they're going to be there next year. Uh, they play their football across Finland uh, at various stadiums and they're captained by Tim Sparv, their most capped player. Uh, and highest ever goal scorer was former Ajax and Liverpool man Yari Lippmann with 137 games with 32 goals to his name. They're currently ranked 58th in the world and I expect that to rise over the next 12 months, of course, with their participation in the Euro 20s, 20, whatever. Uh, their highest rank was 33 back in 2007. Their lowest low point in Finnish football was 110th back in 2017. Alongside Finland in this group will be... The Republic of Ireland, uh, of course, coached by a new boy, new, new, new the new governor, Stephen Kenny, of course, taking over the reins from Mick McCarthy, that's right, um, who was, I think, supposed to take part of the Euro 2020 as manager, but that got kiboshed and put, uh, put um, you know, whatever, brought the plans forward. Stephen Kenny's now taking over for, for the foreseeable future, of course. They are, of course, playing the football at the Viva Stadium in Dublin. A captain by Seamus Coleman, of course, uh, Everton man. Uh, most capped player and highest goal scorer, just like Finland, is Robbie Keane. 146 games, 68 goals. They're currently ranked 34th in the world. Highest ever rank was 6th back in 1993. The lowest point in Irish football was in uh, 2014 when they reached the dizzy loaths of 70th in the world. They're also joined by Bulgaria, of course. Uh, they are managed by Georgi. Uh, they play their football at Vasil Levesky National Stadium. Their captain is Pata Zanev. Uh, their most capped players, of course, Villa and Celtic legend Stylian Petrov with 105 games to his name. Top goal scorers, Heristo Bonev. 48 goals to his name and they're currently ranked 59th in the world. Their highest point was in 1995 in the Stoichkov era. Uh, and of course, that was a very good era for Bulgarian football. Who else did they have? They had uh, a bold Lechkov and all that. Lechkov and Stoichkov. Uh, those were the days. Uh, they reached the dizzy heights of 8th. Uh, of course, the lowest rank was 94th in 2012. And then wrapping up this group will be Wales. Uh, Tidy. Tidy. They are coached by Ryan, Ryan Giggs. They play the football at the Cardiff City Stadium. Their captain is Ashley Williams. Uh, their most capable is Chris Gunter. He's 96 games. I'm starting to sound Jimmy Akan. Uh, top goal scorer is Gareth Bale with 33 goals. Currently ranked 23rd in the 23rd. What am I doing? Uh, eighth, eighth, uh, 23rd in the world. Their highest rank is 8th in 2015. Of course, they had a really, really good Euro 2016 tournament. Uh, and an OK World Cup tournament. Uh, the lowest rank was 107. Were they in the World Cup? 100, uh, 117th in 2011. Uh, so Wales, I'll make up this group. Alongside Ireland, Finland, where there is a typo. I see the typo. Um, should I correct it? I'll correct it just for you guys. Oh, yeah. do, do we like that now, Finland? Do we like that now? I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it for you. Finland. Finland, Finland, Finland. Okay, let's get into it. Now, those were the nations of uh, Group B, Section 4. But now we're going to take a look at the games and we're going to plough through this quick draw McGraw. What that means is we're going to do... Just plough through the results, of course, and, and give you uh, the grand scheme of things of what I think will happen in this group. Who will get promoted to Group uh, A and who will get relegated to Group C, of course, or in that relegation discussion, whatever it is. Of course, there are other form formalities that could uh, lie within this about World Cup qualification and all that kind of stuff. I don't know the meat of the matter on that. It's not as cut and dry as it was for the Euros. Um, so, yeah, but uh, if you want to know for the full disclosure of what happens where or how you can qualify for the World Cup, check out the UEFA website. 
You're going to need like a, a thesaurus or something. It's it's convoluted. It's twisted. It's UEFA. Let's get into it then. Of course, this game will take place, of course, on the 3rd of September, the opening day, and it'll be Bulgaria taking on Republic of Ireland. And you'd think this would be, it's probably one of the most difficult games for, for Republic of Ireland. I think they'll fancy the chances at home. Uh, but uh, picking up a, a result against Bulgaria away will be tricky. But I think they'll open up with a with a draw for the, for the Irish one one in the end. Bulgaria will see this as two points dropped because they you know, Bulgaria. This group is is quite tight. I think it could go either way if you if you start the 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 the, the Nations League campaign strong in the right foot, you could probably get yourselves in the top honours here. Um, but uh, and I think out of this this result, the Republic of Ireland will think. Yeah, got great away day point for them. Meanwhile, Finland will take on uh, Wales over in Finland and it'll also be another draw. And again, uh, Wales and Republic of Ireland will think that this is the better the better result for them. They'll be considering that point one, whereas Finland and Bulgaria will see there's a point dropped. Uh, meanwhile, Wales will take on Bulgaria in the second match day on the 6th of September and the Wales, the Welsh will come out victorious to make an unbeaten campaign and also yet to concede a goal. That's in my eyes. Republic of Ireland, they will take on Finland over in Dublin and also be a victory for Republic of Ireland on the same match day, which will be the 6th of September. September. So, so far so good for Wales and Republic of Ireland. Meanwhile, Finland and Bulgaria have their uh, uh, all work to do. Next up it is a mini battle of Britain going on here, 11th of the 10th. Uh, it'll be Ireland against Wales over in Ireland. And again, it'll be uh, all square here and both two, both nations will still be unbeaten as the campaign reaches the halfway mark. Meanwhile, must win game for Finland and Bulgaria as they lock horns over in Finland and on the same match day on the 11th of October. And I think the Finns will come out on top here with a 1-0 win over Bulgaria. Uh, Bulgaria are at a turning point right now. Now where they could be decent or they could be shit. Uh, I just don't know. Um, all will be decided, I think, with this. If they can keep their heads above water and remain in this group, I think uh, the next few seasons could be decent. Or the next few years, calendar years, could be decent for, for Bulgaria, but they've been on a, on a, on a wane for, for quite some while, whereas Finland are riding a wave at the moment. And, they, and again, if they can keep their, their generation, just like the Icelanders, they could be at this level for some time. Next up, uh, Ireland will go to Finland and uh, this will be on the 14th of October and the Finns will also uh, maintain an unbeaten campaign. In fact, they will complete an unbeaten campaign. In fact, they will complete a, a scoreless campaign against uh, themselves. When I, when, when I, what I mean by that is they will not concede a goal at home uh, coming out on top with an unbeaten campaign. Meanwhile, but, uh, Republic of Ireland will think this is a positive result as well with a nil-nil draw. Uh, so far, so good for them. In fact, they're unbeaten as it stands in my eyes with Stephen Kenny as in charge. Meanwhile, Bulgaria will take on on Wales. I think the Bulgarians will get a victory here, a 2-1 win in the end, which will put the Welsh in a bit of a kibosh situation. Next up we have Bulgaria taking on Finland. This game takes place on the 15th of November. It's a penultimate match day now and it's a must-win game for both Bulgaria and Finland if they're going to get themselves above water. I can't see set, really separate the two sides. I'm going to give it a nil-nil draw on this one. Again, probably a point one for Finland. Two points dropped for Bulgaria on this one. And again, crunch match here. Wales taking on Republic of Ireland on the same match day, match day number five in this group. And it will be a 2-1 win for the Welsh. First defeat for the Irish uh, and the Welsh uh, looks set to complete uh, an unbeaten campaign if they can uh, hold off Finland in the end. Uh, when I say an unbeaten campaign, I mean an unbeaten uh, home campaign. And wrapping it up, it will be the Republic of Ireland taking on Bulgaria in Dublin on the uh, 18th of November. And it'll be a 3-1 win for the Irish uh, to maintain a very good positive uh, Nations League campaign. But will it be good enough to oust the Welsh? Well, the Welsh will end their campaign with also a 2-0 win over the Finns as well. So as you can tell, uh, the Finns did a, did a positive home performance, of course, yet to lose throughout the campaign. The same could be said for the Welsh. I think they... Uh, they they actually had a 100% campaign and, and the Irish also an unbeaten campaign as well. Uh, the only sh the only shit team really on this one for me was Bulgaria who finished in fourth with just one win, two draws and three defeats, five points on the board. It's not good enough, I'm afraid. They're going to be going down. Uh, into third spot will be Finland, of course. One win, three three draws, two defeats, six points on the board. That's one point is just enough to keep it at this level. And alongside them uh, will be the Republic of Ireland. They will be there with nine points, two wins, three draws and one defeat. Uh, top honours will go to Wales. It's three wins, two draws, and one defeat as well. 11 points on the board. Two points separate top honours from second. And the Welsh will all look like get promoted to Group A. Or I don't know if it's a promotion playoff or whatever it is. But they'll be promoted, it looks like. And, of course, Bulgaria will go to the shit league where nations go to die. And that is the Nations League C. Goodness gracious me. That's what I think will happen in this group. What do you think? What do you think? It's tough. It is tough. This is group. This is tough. Of course, uh, new manager of, of Ireland. Uh, of course, uh, Matey boy uh, Ryan Giggs for Wales. Is he is he the real deal? 
Do you believe in it? I don't know yet. I just don't know. It's not It's not Chris Coleman, is it? It's not Chris Coleman. Uh, but anyway, that's what I think will happen in this group. Of course, give this video some love. Smash the old thumbs up. And of course, smash the old subscribe. New videos every single day on the channel. And that wraps up Nations League B. Tomorrow we'll start the Nations League Group C, where nations go to die. That's right. You need to get yourselves out of there. You're treading water. You're playing up against some real stodgy, shitty opposition. You need to get out of it. Uh, so that will be starting tomorrow. And we'll see what I mean. What I mean by... I'm talking about the likes of... Azerbaijan. We're talking about Montenegro. Montenegro, I don't think they should be at that level. I think they should be at this level in, in, in Nations League Group B. Anyway, that's tomorrow. What do you think about today? Are, are Wales cream of the crop in this level or is it the Irish? Or will Bulgaria upset the apple cart? Get your own predictions in nice and early for this bad boy. And we'll do it all again tomorrow. Of course, give this video some love. Smash the thumbs up. Smash the subscribe. Also, check out the, the description. Links to my other social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon if you want to support the channel in another way. That's the way to do it. Patreon.com forward slash overseas. That's the way to do it. Until then, boys, we'll continue the Nations League adventure tomorrow. And also, be sure to check out some other chat videos on this channel. There's lots of stuff here to explore. Until then, I'm out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>